Hello and welcome to Epic Chef. My name is Ben from SwitchRPG.com and this is a game that I feel may have uh, kind of flown under the radar. I know it's been on mine for a little while, but uh, it actually, I think, was on sale for 25% off, about 18 US dollars, and uh, I knew I had to pick it up. Uh, this released back in November, I think on the 11th, and ever since then, I've, I've just kind of been keeping my eyes peeled for it. And, uh, you know, the opportunity presented itself, so here we are. However, as far as how the game actually works, all I know is that it's a culinary adventure, and the uh, perhaps the world slash writing has kind of been somewhat in influenced or inspired by Sir Terry Pratchett, which, of course, is probably best known for the Discworld series of novels. There's like a metric ton of them. I didn't read any of them, but I did play the games on PC, and I always thought that they were kind of cool. So anyway, with that long-winded preamble out of the way, let's go ahead and see what we have going on. And we're definitely going to want to invert the camera axis and... I'm assuming that I'll probably hate whatever the sensitivity is on because it's always, it's never, it's never sensitive enough for my taste. So we'll go ahead and apply that. Everything else looks good. And I may move myself around here. I'm going to try, I, I have a bad habit when I use a webcam to cover up assets or put it in terrible spots so I'm going to do my best to be conscious about that but anyway let's get going here sauces can turn the tide of battle I've I already like this game honestly I really hope it's good Whoa. Oh hey, he's on a he's on a boat. He's he's on an adventure. Hey, digging the art style. We've reached Ambrosia, lad. This is where we part ways. Why haven't we docked in the main port? I'm afraid this is not a matter I want to d discuss with you. Goodbye. Just like that, what a meager farewell after our sea adventure. Well, if you insist, we might come up with a little goodbye ceremony. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hey, what are you... Okay. And don't sneak onto our ship again. Oh, uh, okay, so he kind of deserves it. Yes, I asked for it. Okay. So, our character, first impressions, our character is built like a potato. So, that's, um, that's promising. And it appears that I was correct on the camera sensitivity, and it looks like we got it tweaked just about right. Though I may change it a little bit more later on, but I guess, um... Well, they just kind of set you off in the world. Let's see what this guard has to say. Stop right there. Did you just embark here? I sort of did. Oh, then I guess I'll have to ask for your official permissions. Uh, I don't have any. Then you're not getting through, unless you make it worth my while. Ah, this is Concordia, all right. What was that? Nothing. Look, I'm poorer than a rat, but I have a document that... Bah. Take the bureaucracy to the captain. I'm not paid enough to do paperwork. Where can I find the captain? At the harbor headquarters to my right. All right, well, let's talk to the... Oh, look, he, dude, he... This guy is... Uh, he is breaking his neck trying to, t trying to look at us. 
Um, but I thought he said that we go to the right. We go this way? No. Did he mean the his is right? Okay, I guess this is it. Private Nostro, state your business. I want to see the captain. Captain is a busy man, but maybe I could manage to persuade him to make an appointment. This again. I don't have a single coin on me. Ah, well, can't blame a guy for trying. Some might think it's not the ideal watchman behavior. Oh, and what would the ideal watchman behavior be when talking more than likely... When talking to a more than likely stowaway who has just been thrown off a ship by an angry crew. Eh, well, you see, I, uh... Don't sweat it, lad. I really don't care all that much. Captain is inside. All right. Hello? Who? What do you want? I'm here to get an official permission. An official? What on Fulgore would you want that for? The guard at the door asked for it. By Temperus. Can't you just bribe him and leave me alone? <sighs> I'd rather do things by the book. Ugh, very well. Take a seat. Visitor or resident? Well, sort of both. That's exactly the kind of thing I like to hear when dealing with bureauc bureaucracy. I don't know why I can't say that word. At the last minute of the day. Well, it's the first time I've been here, but I own property. Aha, and what property is that you own? Here's the document. Let me see. Holy Tusker, this is the property deed for Villa Calamitosa. Where did you get this? Well, it was sort of an irresistible deal. Yeah, a deal. You weren't the one who got it. Eh? Nothing. It all seems in order. Here's your sealed resident permit. You own property just outside the southern city wall. Whoa, that was fast. I expected a bureau bureaucratic... Jesus. Bureaucratic nightmare. I hope they don't say bureauc... Oh my god. See, I, I'm useless. That would be the case if you were living in the upper districts. But no one cares about what's going on down here, so there you go. Instant resident. Welcome to Ambrosia. Now bar bugger off. Wait, I don't even know where my new home is. Bother someone else with that. Private spec at the southern gate would be a perfect candidate. Now go, I've got work to do. Yeah, I've seen how busy you are. You want to sleep in a cell, lad? Uh, thank you for your assistance, Captain. Can't bite the hand that feeds us. Alright, so we got a head. What is a uh, Resonadium gem? This. This is a blue Resonadium gem. These things are horribly expensive. How come you have it in here? Long story short, it fell off a shipment crate. No one reclaimed it. Ah. That'll do it. Is this Cravosian wine? It's almost impossible to find out. One of, it's impossible to find one of those nowadays. How did you get your hands on these? fell off a crate. I keep them here until we, hmm, find the owner. I see. How is this thing playing music? No idea. I, I kind of like the tune, though. Where'd you get something like this? It fell off a crate. Couldn't figure out who the de destinatary was, so we are keeping it safe here. An awful lot of things in here seem to have fallen from crates. Well, it happens. Guy who handles the crates must have two wooden hands to keep dropping things at this rate. As a matter of fact, he does, <laughs> smartass. Do you find it funny? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. What happened to him? He fell off a crate. All right. Yeah, I, I, um, I don't know how, uh, how long it will hold up, but uh, so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. So hopefully the gameplay is good. Uh, head to the south gate and see, we don't have an indicator of any sort. Are any of these buttons going to open up the map? Oh, well, our, our buddy here has moved. What's right here? Can't go in there yet. That bugger is not even guarding the door anymore. I think all he wanted was get his hands on quick cash. Nah. What do I care? Let's find that south southern gate. Maybe here? I don't know. Um. 
Okay, not that way. I'm not gonna talk. Oh, they're having a, what are, what are they doing? Are they fighting? Excuse me. Why are those chefs fighting like that? A classic, onion. Onion? Yeah, it's a discussion about whether or not it improves the flavor of a potato omelet. Talk as if this is a normal thing. They're quite intense people. This is nothing compared to the tra tragic pineapple pizza riot. Half the city went up in flames that day. I see. Do you know how to reach the southern gate? Uh, yeah. Just keep going down this street. Thank you. I gotta go around? Okay. Must be going down this way. Um... Do I want to talk to everybody right now? Let's let's go ahead and go to the south gate. I'm assuming we're going to our property. I'm sure we will have plenty of time to converse with everybody. Excuse me, is this the southern gate? Ah, this door facing south, mister? I don't know. I don't carry a compass. Gate faces east. This is the eastern gate. It also faces west. Does it make it the western gate as well? Doesn't make it the southern gate. <laughs> Gate names are not about rotation, they're about position. Door could be facing south and still be the most eastern still be the easternmost gate in the district. That would make it the eastern gate, not the fact that it opens towards the rising sun. It could also be the easternmost and southernmost door. So what? You need to find a way to solve the dilemma. I believe that in that case the rotation of the door would be the de determinant factor to decide whether to call it the southern gate or the eastern gate. Or you could just call it the southeastern gate. Hold on, let's suppose it's a revolving door. Please, sir, I understand that guarding a wall <laughs> must be a very boring thing to do, but I really need to find Private Spec. He's at the southern gate, which is to the south. To your right. Thank you. Okay, that was, uh, that was pretty great. Is very, very much uh, uh, Discworld-esque humor and vibes, which is cool. But it also means it's probably going to be a bunch of dialogue, so... Uh, which is not a problem for me, but maybe a problem for you, I don't know. This has to be the southern gate. Bunch of mesas running around. Uh, how picturesque. Hello, is anyone there? I think I see something by that grate. Um, hello? Oh, it's loading. Oh, give me a chance to drink. I should have had this open before I started. Okay, guard station. Hello, I've been told to come here to Private Spec. And talk to Private Spec. Eh, sir, I know you're behind the plank. Don't be rude. Come on, man, I've had a long day. Don't make it even longer. Damn it, you know what? You can go, f uh, what's that? A bell? What? That's not a person. What the hey? May I help you? Holy crap, man. Don't jump out on people like that. Sorry, I was storing a few things under the counter. You could have at least said something. But you didn't ring the bell. You have to ring the bell, mister. It's there for a reason. Yeah, to bash people on the head. What's with the creepy mannequin? That's Corporal Dummy Nick. But why? You know what? Never mind. It's okay. I'd rather speed this up. <clears throat> I'm Zest. I'm the new owner of the Villa... Via, oh, Via Calamitosa. It's Italian? I don't know. Your captain said you sh you could show me the way. What? Via... Via Calamitosa? You don't want to go there, mister. Yes, I do, because that's where I live now. No, mister, that's not where you live. That's where you'll die. I intend to, perhaps in 50 years, surrounded by my loving grandchildren. You won't get to have grandchildren, mister. You won't last a night in that place. It is cursed by an e evil spirit. The Villa Villa. Uh, you know what? You decide how you want me to say it. Uh, because I don't know. 
The villa has been haunted for generations. Everyone who tried to live there has fled in terror and or suffered a hor horrible death. I'll probably say villa and via 50, a uh, uh, straight 50 down the middle. That'll, that'll cover both bases, or all my bases. No one dares to live in that terrifying place. There's sightings of spectral figures and the horrible screams of the damned can be heard every night. Are you done? Uh, yes. And show me the way to the damn house already. Oh, we're out in the we're out in the boonies. Right over there, mister. Welcome to your new home. Um wait, what? Oh, there it is. With the, uh, complete with a creepy green light. Got to be kidding me. This is Villa Kalamatoza? I'm sorry, but yes, I told you. I know it's shocking. I'll take you back to the you mean this is the place I bought for the little savings I had left? I'm afraid whoever sold this, sold you this has done a number on you. But this, this is... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really paying attention to that. Sorry about that. We're good now. Um, yeah, I only just went 15 minutes without moving that, so... Way to go me. This is the best day of my life. What? Oh my god, this is gigantic. I've met nobles with less land. But the curse, the ghost. Not in my wildest dreams would I have dreamt of owning something like this. Have you been paying attention? So much potential. Finally, luck smiles on me. Well, I've tried to warn you. I'll be ready to open the gates Open the gates to you in the case you come screaming in the middle of the night. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess I'll see you around. Ugh. Have this lamp. You'll need it. Neat. Thank you, Spock. Spec. Whatever. Alright, am I still looking good? I'm not really sure. May have to play around with this a little bit. We'll put it right there for now. Press X to open the inventory. Select a lamp to equip it. Shortcuts to the items can be created by dragging them to the shortcut bar. Okay. What do we got? Alright, we equip, equip the lamp. There we go. And we're on our merry way. Oh, he can run. Look at him. He's taken off. But he also unequipped the lamp. So how do I drag it? Um... Okay, for some reason it's not like it doesn't let you drag i'll have to figure i'll figure that out off camera for now we will just we'll just do a brisk little jog to our humble abode that's next to a guillotine that's great Wow, really nice flat land. My house, I can't believe it. I own a mansion, and all because of some ghost stories. Nonsense. I'm pretty sure my resident ain't evil at all. Residents ain't evil at all. Let's go in. Oh, I, I see what they did there. I see what they did. Ugh, dark. Let's light up all the rooms take a decent look. Gotta make sure that no bears or hobos have snuck in. We got a fixed camera here. Aha! The place seems spacious enough. Plenty of room to store things. It's a cute little setup. I mean... Kitchen, eh? The boiler seems to work. I'll take a good look at the stove in the morning. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a cute little little cottage tucked away. It's uh creepy, I guess one of his relatives or something. Or you know what? I don't know if this is like owner property. 
or uh, in the family property or not. I can't remember. No time to procrastinate. I've got things to do. I was just looking. There we go. What a spacious room. That painting is awful. No wonder if it was left behind. Oh, he's holding a head. Holding like a like a shrunken head. That's foreboding. Can't open the chest yet. A dormitory, I suppose, with a comfortable wooden plank. At least it comes with a pillow. Can't be worse than that barrel on the ship. I think that's about it. I'll call it a day. Guess I'll get some sleep sleep at the plank bed. All right. I think that's going to do it for episode one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. So far, so good. Uh, so, yeah. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, consider subscribing, and I will be back with more soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.